What is up guys, it's Night Timber here with another Call of the Wild video, and in today's video, I'm going to be covering the Harlequin Ducks. So, but before we get into it, please like and subscribe if you find this useful, but let's get into it. Now, Harlequin Ducks are found on Yukon Valley, and Yukon Valley only. For what you can hunt the Harlequin Ducks with, is you can use a 300 grain arrow out of any bow, you can also use any shotgun as long as you're using birdshot with it, and you can also use 22s with just the regular 22 long rifle bullet. That works really good. And another quick note is there's not actually a Harlequin duck collar. The duck collar that we have in the game only works on the mallards and the teal, but you can still use the Harlequin duck decoys, which cost 4,000 a pack and work very good for getting the ducks in. Um, it would help if we had the collar, but I guess... The game just didn't really give us that option, but I'll show you the first spot. This is the first spot I'm at right now, and this is in the lower part, um, like elevation-wise, it's on the lower part where the main river is, and I'll quick zoom in just to show you where we're at. All those need zones that you see out in the water are all Harlequin duck spots. I ended up going around the whole map looking for where the best spots would be for hunting, and I found this is one of the very good spots. And pretty much just hunting along this river is pretty much the only areas where you'll find Harlequin ducks. I found Harlequin ducks right down here too. This is another decent spot. Um, I thought my game crashed for a second. I guess I'm auto walking into the water. But yeah, anywhere other than like this river um, doesn't really have any ducks. Like, I went all around this map looking, and I didn't find a single duck in any of those top lakes, so definitely don't try hunting them in the top lakes, just because no ducks there that I could see. But for extra equipment that you might want to use, we have the duck blind, I believe it's called, the waterfall blind, I believe it's called actually now, and that's just nice for hiding from the ducks so they don't see you, and you can also just aim up without scaring them on like the layout blind. I'm also gonna be just setting up a tent here just so then I can fast travel. If you're trying to really grind ducks out for like a diamond, it helps if you have a multiple set setups with tents in between them so you can just fast travel because lots of times there'll just be ducks sitting in the decoys when you get back. But now we'll just set up the decoys. Gotta catch my breath. But um, with the decoys, you really don't need any too specific of a decoy spread. The game really accepts any spread that you have. You can clump them all up in one clump of decoys. I remember I made a carousel before, and that got ducks. So it doesn't really matter. You can also use all Drake decoys or all hen decoys. It doesn't matter as long as you're using 15 to 20 of them to get the maximum attracting effect. I suggest using 20 just because it looks better. But yeah, that's how you set up the decoys. It isn't really too much of any in-depth stuff for the decoys. But now I'm gonna go show you me actually harvesting some out of this spot. But before we do that, I'd like to also click add or quick add that if you use a tent by your spot, you can change the time, and changing the time helps a lot for getting the ducks moving from need zone to need zone, and that will bring more ducks into your spread if you're just waiting at the particular spot. Okay, I was I just changed the time a little bit, and I changed it to 11-ish, just because that's about the time that these ducks had a need zone for, and I already have my first group coming in after only a or actually probably five minutes after just changing the time. It didn't take long at all. So I'm gonna just quick check to see if there's any diamonds in this group or diamond potential ducks, which is going to be a level three. And I don't see any. And you can also get diamond females from these. I I remember, right? They're just gonna be the two minor females if they're like really like high weight. It's not common that a two minor female will hit diamond, but it is possible, or at least it was. I don't quite remember it. I haven't really hunted these in quite a while, but they're still a really fun duck to hunt. And I am i don't know which one to take. I usually like to wait for them just to clump up, but I'll just, I'll just shoot them. And after you guys shoot these ducks, if you haven't hunted them before, they'll just come straight up to the shore so that you can grab them. 
right now would be a great time to use the 22 as well because this is a little bit of an overreach with the shotgun at this type of range. Okay, quick looking at what these ducks will give you. These ducks will give you right about 300, if I remember right. Yep, 300-ish, little, little over. So you'll expect to get, if you're using the right weapons, you'll get about 300 per duck. And it's a pretty good way to grind cash. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, or if you found this video at all helpful, please like and subscribe because that helps me out. And I plan on making a lot more guides on Call of the Wild. So if you subscribe, you can get notified of when all of those will be made. But just remember, only hunt this river for Harlequin ducks because it's pretty much the only spot with Harlequin ducks. But anyways, see you in the next video, and I hope you guys have a great hunt on Yukon Valley for the Harlequin ducks or whatever else you guys are hunting.